Hey, this is a quick review of this indoor outdoor heater. What I feel is important to share is about its features. Here from the instruction manual, you can see its components. And from this table on the top, you can see some specifications and features. This is the model number if anyone is interested. About the main features that I would like to share. Uh, first of all, the head can be adjusted to 45 degree angles by loosening and tightening the screw. The head of the screw is on the other side. The height of the head can be adjusted by loosening this part, moving the pipe up and down, and then tightening it again. For stability, most of the weight is in the bottom. Uh, the net weight of the heat is 17.2 pounds according to the manual, and I believe most of that weight, likely 12 to 15 pounds, is on a weight underneath this shiny structure. And it's attached to it using these eight screws over here. Uh, to control the heat, the heat has three different powers, low, medium, and high. Right now it's off, it's at the zero position. To change it, you pull this cord over here, and it changes to the lowest setting. You can pull it a second time to the medium second and a third time to go to the highest power setting. The powers are 500, 1000, and 1500 watts. This feature at the top is an anti-coverage feature. It's not a handle. It's to reduce the risk of something completely covering the heater and the heat will accumulate and cause an overheat, which is a safety hazard. Um, you can see the filament is getting red because it's now it's operating and generating heat. And if you want to turn it off, you pick the cord and you pull it a fourth time and it will from three to zero and now it's off. That's everything I would like to share. Hope it was useful.